Hi everybody. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new graphics we made with Ross Expression and how you can be able to apply that into your show. Now the two graphics we're going to talk about today are the Weather Right Now and the Weather Extended that starts off looking like a three-day forecast and then expands to a seven-day forecast. So the first thing you're going to do when you uh, open up Expression um, and you go to Sequence you're gonna see all the templates that we have to offer for all the different shows we have, from uh, lower thirds that animate, to our weather graphics, to other types of like still image lower thirds and over the shoulders, okay? So what we're gonna look on right now are these two weather graphics, the weather right now and the weather extended. When you want to choose an instance of a graphic you wanna use for your show, you simply just click on the template you want to use, click, hold, drag, and drop it to the big gray area, and let it go. Okay? You'll then do this again for the next graphic you want to use, which will be the weather extended. Click again so it turns purple, click, hold, drag, and drop into the big gray area. So you see when you drag and drop the graphics into the gray area, it's just to build what's called a sequencer. So you can see the first one you dragged over, it says weather right now. And then the second one you dragged over, it says weather extended. Um, we're gonna highlight the weather right now so we can edit the parts of our template uh, that will suit your show. So what you'll do is you'll go to your attention to the lower left corner of the screen and in this box is where you can edit the template data. So you wanna make sure this tab is selected. You can select a few of these. Make sure the template data is selected and now you can start to edit what you wanna do. So the first thing that pops open is the weather icon. So this would be the weather that's gonna be happening right now. So if you go ahead to video files you can now change this. I want you to navigate. We'll go over here a little bit. Navigate to where it says videos. And you'll see one that says videos right there. Go ahead and click on it. Then it'll say weather icons for expression. Double click. Another window that says weather icons for expression. Double click again. And these are the different animated weather icons for your day. So let's just say we want to use snow. Double click on it, and then weather snow is, is activated. We can, if we look over to the left, you'll see weather icon, snow has been put into our template data. Now the next, just to go ahead and edit the text. So right now, text is right now. You can see the text is right there if I wanted to edit it, if I wanted to call it something different, maybe the day or the date, it's up to you. Weather description, this is partly sunny here. We're gonna go ahead and just call it snow. Now the template will automatically make all of this capitals because that's the way we programmed it. So you could say it lowercase or capital, it doesn't really matter. It'll change this to all caps later on. Our high temp, click on it. Simply just click to the right of the digit. Type the new temp, so since it's snowing, it's probably maybe the high is 25 degrees. Same thing for the low. Maybe the low is, you know, uh, 15 degrees. And then the wind, maybe it won't be such a windy day, so we'll maybe keep it at southwest, we'll just say at, you know, 10 miles per hour. Okay? And basically, that's all you have to do to create the weather graphic. Now, what does it look like? So on the lower right side is the preview pane where you can look at your graphic before it goes to air. So let's go hit the play button and see what our graphic looks like. Now it animates in nicely and our right now and our temperatures are correct and our wind speed's correct, but if you notice the snow wording is a little bit more to the left than we'd like it to be. So if we add some spaces before the S, we can push it so it's more aligned with our cloud that's snowing. Simply click on the snow for weather description and add a few spaces to it. Okay, so now I'll hit the play button to see if it was moved over enough. Uh, 
uh, pretty close. Maybe a couple more spots and it'll be right there. Let me go ahead and um, try that right now. I'll just maybe add a couple more spots there. Hit play again. Oh, maybe one too many. Maybe I'll delete a space. And then I'll hit it again. And it looks like it's right in the middle. So now our graphic is ready. Now we can move ahead and go to the seven day forecast. So now what I'll do is in the sequencer, that's that big gray area, I'll now click on weather extended to get the seven day forecast. And you'll notice this now changed to the template data for the seven day forecast. It looks very similar to the right now, except you're gonna see it has day one, day two, all throughout until you get to day seven. Now we didn't call these Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because we wanted to give you the flexibility of what you want to call each day. So the first day of your weather maybe will be, let's say we'll make it um, snow since that's what we're gonna be working on right now. We did it before. Double click on snow. There it is for day one. Day of the week, we'll call it Monday for now. The high temperature, we had it, if memory serves me, it was, 25 degrees and the low temperature was 15. Now if I go to the day two icon, um, I could go ahead and then select what days could be. So maybe it's cloudy and sunny. Maybe the weather's kind of going on. Double click on that. We now have cloudy and sunny. Change that from MUN to maybe a three letter for Tuesday, maybe T-U-E. And the same thing, maybe the high, maybe it got a little bit warmer with the sun coming out, 45 degrees. And the low, maybe we'll keep it at 38 degrees, okay? And what you're gonna do is basically rinse and repeat uh, for each day in the seven day forecast for how far you wanna go. Now with this template, you can actually see what's happening to each day as you change it. So if I go ahead to my day three icon, and let's say it's now gonna be sunny, I'll double click on the sunny. Now you can see the day three has changed. The day of the week is Wednesday. Then I'll go ahead and change the high, maybe getting a little warmer now, maybe a warming trend here, 48 degrees. With the low, we'll go 40. And now I know that day, weather is all set too. All right, now I jumped ahead and I kind of put in all the information for my seven day forecast. You can see it's all here. Now I wanna check it out to make sure it works the way I'd like it to work. So again, hit the play button. It'll bring up my first three days. Uh, if those look right, it's pretty great. Uh, if I need to change anything, now would be the time. But if you hit the play button again on the queue, this would be normally be on the queue of the person doing the weather. When you say, okay, now it's time for the seven day forecast, hit the play button again. And then you could see the rest of your forecast appear at that time. Then you can double check and make sure that it looks good. Now, if you have your two weather graphics, you're now ready to bring it to air. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're ready to go to air is you want to make sure your clips are in the right order in that big gray area, which we call the sequence or the sequencer. And I want you to draw your attention to the column that says output. This is how you're going to send the graphic to the production switcher. If it's going to be animated like the two that we made, we want to make sure it's on expression. If you click on it, there's a little drop down menu and you can choose which one you want it to go to. Make sure expression is chosen. That's the only output that shows animated. There's also ones that are called still one and still two. That's only if you're using a still frame graphic, like, you know, maybe an over the shoulder or type of lower third, okay? The person that's going to be doing the production switching will let you know if we're using anything with stills. But for now, we're keeping these things animated because they do animate in, so we have no choice but to choose expression FB1. So you wanna make sure both of those are selected. And now this will be ready for air. Now the monitor that's next to the graphic system is what we call a multi-view for the production switcher. 
So on the bottom, you'll see it has the three different, we call sources of graphics that could be sent to the production switcher. On the bottom left is the expression view. The middle one is what we call still one. And the one on the bottom right is still two. On the top left is preview, which is kind of like the on deck circle of the shot that's gonna come next when we're doing our show. The right side with the red box around it is program. That means that is the one that is actually on air. So what you're gonna do is if you want a graphic to go to air, you hit this enter key only. This enter key will not send it to air, only this one. So you could use the arrow keys to kind of navigate between the graphics that are in your sequencer, which one you want to send to air. Then when you're ready, you hit this enter button and I will send the graphic to air. And as you can see, this is it goes over our live shot. So now when we want to go to our seven day, if you recall, it's actually in two parts. So I'm going to use my arrow key to bring it down to the next one. I will then go ahead and hit enter. And that you see will bring up the first three days of the seven day forecast. When it comes time for the weather um, meteorologist to say, okay, now time for the seven day, at that mark, you hit that same enter key again, and then it'll automatically bring in the rest of your forecast. Okay, well, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, we'll be able to answer those later, or you can put a comment below, and we'll see you in the TV studio.